You know why people don't like Citadel? You know why I don't like Citadel? You know why they're known to be shady? Uh, why Ken is known to be a liar, thief type stuff? You know, just my opinion. So don't sue me, Kenny. And like I've said before, even if you do, what are you going to take from me? My nothing? So anyway, I digress. But the reason that we dislike you, Kenny boy, is for things just like this. I'm going to pull up here in just a second. So it's been on record of other people saying it, him saying it, so on and so forth, that he owns Citadel Securities, but is not an owner, a major owner in Citadel Advisors. Well, that's a bunch of bullshit. And with this, right here I'm going to pull up. Here we go. This proves that he's full of shit. And pulling this sh normal shady crap. Okay, Citadel Advisors has almost half a trillion, half half of one trillion in managed 13F securities. That's a lot of weight. Okay, so um, and Ken Kenneth is the manager. Okay, whatever the investment officer. Like, <clears throat> if you look at it, and if you look at any other thing that says it, it will show that he has less than five percent ownership. Yeah, t to to dumbasses, to, to idiots that can't put two and two together. Because look, Ken Cordell Griffin. Chief Executive Officer, Co-Chief Investment Officer, direct, less than 5%. So that's all people see. Oh, yep, you're telling the truth. Look into it. Look. Look. I'm going to start right down here. Because this is kind of how it, it goes. <clears throat> okay. Kenny Boy has 75% or more ownership of... G F H H F E V A L L C. Okay, you see that right there. Seventy-five percent or more ownership of that. Okay, so that oh that shows up over here. Okay, what do they own? Seventy-five percent or more ownership in Citadel Limited Partnership. Okay. Oh, shows up right here again. They own 75% or more ownership in Citadel Advisors Holdings LP. Okay. Oh, shows up right here. Citadel Advisors Holdings LP owns 75% or more of, of uh, Citadel Advisors LLC. Directly, too. Directly. So what does that mean? That means he owns a heck of a lot more than his less than 5%. Because if he owns 75% of something, that owns 75% of something, that owns 75% of something, uh, that owns 75% of Citadel Advisors LLC, you just have to do the simple math. 75% of, 75% of, 75% of, 75%, which comes to about 31.8%. But I just rounded to 31% for a round number. So, and this is the bare minimum. It says 75% or more. So the absolute minimum through indirect ownership. Kenneth Cordell Griffin owns 31, minimum, minimum 31% of Citadel Advisors LLC. And that's not including his less than 5% there either. So at the very minimum, absolute minimum, he technically owns or has in his name $141 billion in 13F securities. Yeah. 
And you're telling me that he doesn't have um, influence or he's not taking favors when all these or orders come to him through when he's buying these orders for payment for overflow? And you're telling me that he, those $141 billion in his name that he technically owns, he's not going to favor those? Of course he is. Because he's a snake. That's why he owns 31% and this and $141 billion through indirect um, path pathways like this, which is bullshit. He gets away with not paying taxes that way. He gets away with not um, tying him, his name to Citadel Advisors LLC just in case things go sour. Um, but he reaps all the benefits. He has no negative downfall, except maybe he loses a little bit of money or something, maybe. But not when he has Citadel Securities to guarantee that he doesn't. And that's what he's doing. And of that $141 billion, I want you to look at this. I'll pull up this here. Okay, here we go. All right. What does a Ken Griffin market look like? Well, the hopes and aspirations we all share for a, for a fair, more transparent, and equal opportunity market of tomorrow may never come true with people like Ken and Citadel running our markets. Okay, look at it. Citadel is C Citadel. They're an investment inv advisor. They're a hedge fund. Well, a bunch of hedge funds. They're a high frequency trader. They're a market maker, and they're also a broker dealer. And you can find that out through the SEC and just type in Citadel Securities and pull up any one of them. I mean Citadel, just Citadel. And then pull up any one of those companies that pulls up, and then it'll list all of those as their direct or indirect uh, business operations. They monopolized it. Okay. And so not only did they monopolize it, but they're they're working the system and our government too. All right, Citadel Citadel Advisors a hedge fund, blah blah blah. And it goes on to say the same thing that they have um, that in, in asset under management. See that's different. Asset under management and then security at 13F securities. Those are two big different numbers, but I digress. Um and out of that 446 billion in managed 13F securities that Ken Griffin owns 31% of, half of that is in the Cayman Islands. $269 billion in the Cayman Islands. And if you don't know what the Cayman Islands does, Cayman Islands provides complete and total discretion it doesn't list the, the actual investors names and they're not required to pay taxes and tech and they don't show any of um, the trading activity they list um, exempt so we don't know what's all in all in all of these funds that are in the Cayman Islands so how much market he controls, how much market he directly owns with $141 billion, and how much market he manages at half a billion, and how much he's hiding in the Cayman Islands yeah, he's working the system in every way, shape, or form. And he's good at it, unfortunately. What they need to do, and it's stated too, that any hedge um, any fund that's in the Cayman Islands cannot be managed by a U.S. citizen, but it is. And it cannot be owned or be or the investors can't be American citizens. But 
141. Uh, come on, Kenny boy. That's why he routed it. That's why he hit it through five steps to him. He still owns it. It's still his. But it's through five steps so no one catches on because he's this little snake. So SEC, um, IRS, the feds, CIA, FBI, whoever needs to look at this, here you go. I mean, here you go. I mean, what more do you want? You have embezzlement. You have fraud. You have market manipulation. You have money laundering and tax evasion. It's so just a start. And the proof's all right here in these two in these two um, articles that I made. These two pieces of paper. With these two pieces of paper, you could put the dots together and yeah. That's that's a life sentence. So come on now. It ain't that hard. If you're that stupid, then this uneducated freaking hillbilly needs a job or something all right that's my video and kenny boy eat it